Well, I just went through a huge headache of an experience with getting my NVIDIA drivers installed. Uh, there are two different errors. The first one is the installer just flat out failing, saying it's not compatible with this version of Windows, couldn't find any compatible hardware. The second issue is after solving that one, installing the graphics drivers and then just having them fail inexplicably. So first thing you wanna do is download a couple things. One of them is DDU, which will uninstall all of your old graphics drivers so that you start with just a clean slate. Now keep in mind, if you have an Intel F series processor, or um, you know any other processor that doesn't have a built-in display driver, then you might want to be careful with this because you don't want to end up with no display at all. Typically, your graphics cards will have basic drivers that run anyway, even after running DDU, but if you are in that specific boat, it's, it's worth at least a little bit extra research. The other thing you wanna download is just your graphics driver, straight from NVIDIA's website. Once you have both of those things downloaded, you'll want to disable your internet connection because Windows will try and automatically fetch graphics drivers after you've uninstalled them. And for me, that was problematic. We're going to be doing restarts and if your internet automatically comes back on when your computer restarts, then it can start downloading that driver. So you'll just want to do something to make sure that your internet stays off. If you're on a computer that has built-in Wi-Fi and you can't remove the module, what you can do is go to your network and, well, mine's turned off, but you can click on your network and click forget, and that way it won't automatically connect when your computer restarts. Okay, so with all that in mind, uh, you'll download DDU and run it. What you'll wanna do is select your device, GPU, and it'll auto-detect it, but if it doesn't, just select whatever you are trying to install. This is also recommend recommended to be run in safe mode. Oddly enough, this computer can't actually get into safe mode so I didn't do it and I didn't have an issue but just to be sure um, that that is recommended what you do. Okay so I just ran DDU the computer restarted uh, you might see some flashing stuff uh, that's not a big deal that's totally normal. Now what we'll want to do is take the Nvidia driver you downloaded and run it. It'll bring up this window and what you'll want to do is make a new folder uh, somewhere that's easily accessible. I use my desktop and you can name it whatever you want. I call mine GPU because it's simple. And then in here you want to navigate the driver to that folder. And the reason you want to do this is because th this isn't actually the driver itself. It's, it's like a compressed version of it, uh, and so it needs a place to extract all the contents. And while this is going on, you'll want to make a second folder, and the reason you want to do that is because when the driver is done extracting to the first folder, um, as soon as you, you know, you get your error and you close out of it again, this folder will be deleted. So once we're in this state, we can open this folder, we can select everything, and we can copy it and then paste it over to the second folder, just like so. Then, as expected, the driver will give the same error it's been giving the whole time. You'll hit close, and that first folder will disappear. But we've got the one we copied, so now we wanna go in here and start fixing stuff. So open the folder and go into the display driver subfolder and navigate to a system in or setup information file. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it has the appropriate section, which I'll show you. If you have NVA CIG, um, that one works, so you can go ahead and click on that. If you don't have that one, you just need to look for one of these INF files that has a section in it that looks like this. Percent NVIDIA underscore DEV dot a uh, uh, model graphics card. Now, what all these strings are, are um, 
models of graphics cards that the setup can point to. And if your graphics card isn't in this list, then it will say no compatible hardware found. But that doesn't necessarily mean the graphics card you have is incompatible with the drivers, it just means it has no ID to point to. So luckily we can modify this. What you'll wanna do to find your ID is hit start, go to device manager, and you'll want to navigate to display adapters. And since we've uninstalled the graphics card, it should come up as Microsoft Basic Display Adapter, um, something of the sort. Or, or it may even be your card, I don't know. You wanna right click on it and click Properties, and then go to Details, and you wanna change this to Hardware IDs. See this PCI slash Ven, it's, it's the same as this right here. There's a few different ones to pick. You'll just wanna honestly get the one that looks the closest to this format right here. So we've got PCI slash Ven, three sets of characters separated by underscores, and we've got that right here. You'll want to copy it. So in your hardware ID over here, you'll see dev underscore and then four characters. So these four characters right here is your card model. In my case, it's 13D7. So what we'll do here is when the notepad, we'll go edit and find, and we'll look for 13D7 or whatever your model is. And here we have it right here, section 10, uh, you know, just somewhere in the string. If it takes you to a weird part of the file, like right here, uh, try just searching up until you can find it up in here. Okay, so find the topmost entry of your model, and we'll just create a space above it, like this. Then you'll want to copy everything right before the end of the section, right here, and paste it behind your entry that you made. And I'll add a separation here just to make it a little bit easier to see. Now you want to modify this as well. So at the end of your entry, you'll have eight characters. In my case, it's uh, 15CD1028. Now you want to replace these eight characters right here with these eight characters right here. So that would make this 1051 for me. 15CD, this second part right here, 1028, like that. And then obviously make sure this 13D7 also matches your 13D7, whatever, whatever your model may be. Okay, and I'll close up these gaps right here. Actually, there's one more thing you wanna do in here that's pretty important. Um, so you wanna take your entry and copy this first section right here, just like that copy and you're going to edit and find and you'll want to type in your graphics card model but but just the model so if you have a 1070 type in 1070 don't type in Nvidia you know whatever in my case I have a 980m so I'm going to type in 980m oh make sure you're searching down and it'll bring you to this section um, you can honestly just replace any of these. So I'll just pick the top one for me, for my 980M, and I will just replace that first segment with what we copied earlier. So I'll paste that, and then you'll get rid of these percent symbols. And the reason you want to do this is because this is the part of the INF file that the driver points to to name your graphics card. So if you install it without doing this, it will resort to its um, hardware ID, and that's, that's not ideal. With that, the first issue should be solved, so let's try it. We'll just back out of dis the display driver folder and then run the setup.exe in, uh, in your folder you made. And just like that, nice and quick, it works. So after going through all that, um, there's a chance that you'll go to install your graphics driver, um, and then this will happen. <laughs> Nvidia installer failed, and uh, specifically it will say a graphics driver failed. A lot of the time you see this issue and it will say not installed, um, but this is 
an important distinction to the problem. But there is a solution here too. And to show you this, I have to record with my phone, so I'm gonna switch over to that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up, hit the start button, and you're going to hold shift on the power button and click restart. After that, it'll bring up a screen that looks like this. You'll wanna click troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and then click restart. Once you're in here, there'll be an option called Disable Driver Signature Enforcement, number seven. So you wanna hit seven and go into that mode. All right, and we're in. So go into your folder you created that has the um, modified NVIDIA driver and just run setup.exe. You can use Express or Custom, however you wanna do it. Um, for this case, I just hit express. It doesn't really matter. And partway through this install, you will be prompted by Windows saying that it cannot verify um, the signature of the driver. Um, and I believe this is because we modified it. And there it is right there. Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software you're going to click install this driver software anyway. And then, what do you know? Video installer has finished. Okay, and I just switched back over to recording here. So uh, the installer finished. Uh, you can verify it by looking at device manager. A neat trick is holding Windows and hitting X and then pressing M on your keyboard. And I'll just bring that up. Go to display adapters and there we have it. 980M. If you right click on it and go to properties 2, you can go to the driver and it'll show you the date and that will tell you that you definitely got, uh, you know, whatever version you downloaded. So I really hope this helps. Um, this was, this has been a huge pain for me for a long time and it took me a long time to figure it out. Um, but hopefully it's just a non-issue from here forward for as many people as possible.